Right, um, hello. First of all, apologies for the noise. I'm outside because it's sunny and there's a road nearby, so there's gonna be a lot of cars in this video. <laughs> but um, yeah, I first uploaded a video here five months ago called Aggressive MS at 22. And I uploaded it with the intention of uploading regularly. Um, <laughs> birds. Because there's so much that... Bloody birds. Oi. I'm just going to have to talk over them. But there's so much that I want to talk about and so many topics that I want to talk about. And um, I, I uploaded the video and created this channel with the intentions of posting regularly because for me it would have helped a ridiculous amount while I was in hospital and when I first got diagnosed to physically see someone of a younger age um my camera just cut out there so I'm not too sure where I got up to but basically I uploaded the video and I did it because I wanted to talk about it I didn't want to go through something so huge in my life and stay quiet about it. There are seven billion people in this world, but when it was happening to me, I felt like I was the only one who has ever been diagnosed with MS. I was definitely the only young person that's ever been diagnosed with MS. The kind of feeling that this shouldn't be happening to me. And I felt just terrified and so alone. So I want to make all these videos to help that old me and to help other people if they are going through something like this. I made the video and I remember that it was completely overwhelming. Uh, I got such a huge amount of support. I shared it on my Facebook page so a lot of friends got in kind of contact with me and I received like a lot of love and I just remember as soon as I clicked share and I, I posted it on my um, Facebook when the sort of positive response started coming through I just couldn't I couldn't look at it anymore so I just went for a huge walk with my headphones in just blaring power walking around because I had so much adrenaline in me and I was scared to share something that's so so personal and so like it's me at my most vulnerable this plane I received so much love and like the support that I got was truly amazing and it made me feel so I, I don't really know how to explain it but I felt good um, it was definitely a positive thing posting the video however I posted the video and I talked about everything that happened to me in hospital I talked about a lot of stuff that I had buried and I had blocked and I had shut down emotions about I didn't want to think about what happened to me I didn't want to think back to those memories so talking about it definitely opened up those memories and I went through everything that I felt and where I had blocked it out I had to deal with it. And, it and it was hard and where I was so like high after posting the video I definitely crashed and went into a low mood because I there's another plane but I'm just gonna have to keep talking because I'd opened up a lot of memories horrible traumatic painful scary memories that I had blocked and I had to deal with it and I didn't want to deal with it and so I went into a low mood and I started experiencing a lot of anxiety and these two things I'm still kind of battling with to this day it's been five months but I'm starting to finally feel a bit better I didn't want to make videos during that time because I wanted this place to be a positive um, happy kind of refuge for anyone that needs it because I needed someone to be positive while I was in hospital I wanted it to be positive and I didn't feel that so I didn't want to make any videos because I didn't want to put a false representation of how I was feeling and I'm um, I wasn't ready to share that I was feeling a bit low and yeah so I've left it I'm just looking on my phone at the video because I haven't looked at it for a while but it's quite clear to me that I have to keep talking about this because in this five months the channel bearing in mind I've only posted one video and one other video the channel has got 526 subscribers and the 
video has got 42,000 views, which is just absolutely mental. So it's clear that people are finding this helpful, and which is the complete aim of what I wanted to do. It's people need someone to be talking about it. Um, so I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep talking about it and although it's hard and it's like really hard to put your kind of fears and lay yourself completely bare and open up your vulnerabilities and talk about something so awful that's happened to you all over the internet for people to see. The issue is bigger than just me. In the UK alone there's 100,000 people who have MS. The number of young people developing MS is on the rise and I really think that it is kind of missing this voice. There are obviously amazing, amazing charities like MS Society, MS Trust, that have a lot of resources and uh, do a lot of campaigning, but I think what it's missing is someone living with it and documenting it. So yeah, I'm gonna make this channel. I've made an Instagram, which I will link below. I think it's Izzy underscroll MS, where I'm gonna be posting kind of stuff that I'm eating, stuff that I'm doing, um, more of my day-to-day -day life, because I uh, have gone completely back to normal. I've got 100% recovery. I go out and still do the same stuff that I did before. There's been enough time where, although it's still painful and I'm still terrified, it's starting to ease away now. It's been a year, although that attack has definitely left its mark on me. For example, if you watched my video, you will know that it went mainly for my left side and I was paralysed. I definitely have a very clear two halves of my body now. My left side is weaker than my right side, not through muscles, through messages going to my left side, which no one else would notice, um, but I can feel it. I am very in tune with what my body's saying now. Um, I know if I wake up and I have sort of pins and needles or fuzziness in the bottoms of my legs or in my hands, um, I know that's my body saying, you need to rest. Also, another sign is I get ringing in my ears, like tinnitus, kind of, but it goes away once I've caught up on sleep, but I know that's my body saying, you need to chill out. So I definitely listen. So it's kind of getting to the stage where I'm taking the positives of the situation instead of the negatives. So a positive is I'm very in tune with my body. Another positive is it is driving me forward every single day to go out and have amazing experiences and have fun with my friends. And I've definitely had one of the best summers of my life because I have done so many amazing things. I yeah like I've had a good year I've got my body back to working again I got out of hospital a year ago and although I could walk I was walking with a stick and everything was very kind of robotic and it didn't flow so I had to teach myself how to properly walk again I taught myself how to run again when I first started running it felt like my legs were made out of lead and it felt like every step that I was taking I was wading through the thickest mud um, but I didn't give up, I just kept going, kept trying it, and um, yeah, I'm still running. <laughs> and although I'm not running very fast, I'm running. <laughs> it's been a year since I got out of hospital. I got diagnosed the day after I got out of hospital, and my neurologist said in the first year I'll be looking at three to four attacks, and I've had zero, um, which is amazing. Um, And I put that down to the disease modifying therapy that I'm on, which is Lemtrada, and I started that. Um, I got out of hospital end of September. I started that in December. So although at the time it felt very overwhelming, um, I'm very grateful to my consultant and the neurologist that were working with me that pushed me and got me to the right people and got me in to having this therapy because I had aggressive onset so time wasn't on my side and time is definitely now on my side so I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna say for this video it really hasn't had that much substance to it I just wanted to restart this channel again and I want to say thank you to everyone that watched 
my first video. Um, I know that a lot of people posted comments and I haven't actually replied to all of them. When I went into my low mood, I was like, oh God, I don't want to look at this video. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to think about anything. Um, so I'm definitely going to be like more responsive and reply to people, people comment. Um, and thank you to everyone that's subscribed to this um, channel. I am not making this channel to get views or subscribers or anything. I just want there to be something on the internet in case anybody needs it because I needed it and there was nothing or at least I couldn't find anything. I have loads and loads and loads of video ideas. Um, oh, the sun. This is interesting. I just had to get away from the sun, which is still trying to get me. But I have loads and loads of video ideas and there's loads of stuff that I want to talk about. Um, so if you're interested, subscribe or whatever, or just keep checking back to the channel. And if anyone wants me to talk about anything, then let me know. Um, I follow a specific diet which I will be talking about and kind of lifestyle. Um, I want to make uh, recipe ideas. Um, I really believe that food is a massive healer so I... Um, there's a wasp. So I'm definitely into healthy lifestyle, healthy recipes so i will be making some stuff like that um but if anyone has any thing they want to ask me you can or i can make a video on it um follow the instagram page that i made which i will link down below i haven't actually started that yet but i will be posting regularly on that and also I have a couple of things that I'm training for, for 2018, which I will talk all about on this channel very soon. And I'm also going to start preparing myself for round two of treatment. I go back to hospital in the middle of December. So I'm going to get my body in the best sort of state health wise as I can. I'm going to show you how I'm going to be doing that. Yes, thank you for watching. And I will try and post a video once a week. So keep an eye out for the next one. And yeah, I will see you next time.